Hello YouTube, Polarver27. Before I start with the video, <laughs> I want to make an apology. Um, I have been posting, and mostly because winter's not my time with the school musical and everything. So, now that it's over, um, I should be posting more. And I will do a lot of posting in the summer. But anywho, today I want to talk about divination. Um, divination is, there's many different types of divination, uh, things you can do with it, contact the dead, do some form of predicting the future, um, do some sort of past life regression, um, uh, I think that might be it. If I think of something else, if I remember one, then I'll just say it. Um, hang on. Oh, answering problems, like finding an answer to certain problems in life. Um, also contacting spirits, spirit guides, the dead, spirit animals, stuff like that. But the different types of divination, um, the one I use is runestone readings. Now, there are different types of runestone readings, like different ways of reading them, different ways to lay them out and read them. But, um, I got my information off a website, not very trustworthy, but, um, that's what I use. Um, for my stones, I took a bag of river rocks and wrote on the ones that I chose, like the ones that were rounder and like this size, kind of, and flatter. But you can also buy rune stones. Um, you can make your own. You don't have to use like river rocks. You can use almost anything. The first set I had was cardboard. You can use thick paper card cardstock, is what it says. Um, but usually, rune is for reading, um, answering problems. It can be used to tell the future or p past life regression. Um, another type is um, tarot. Tarot cards. There are there are different types of tarot. Uh, sorry about my hair. The wind is blowing. But um, anyway, there are different types of cards, different decks, different ways to read them. Because, um, like, I, I don't do much with tarot, so I wouldn't know much about it. But tarot, you can print off the internet, buy a deck, even make your own. And making your own might be one of the best. Because you can, um, it, there's more personal energy in it if you make your own. Um,. Tarot can also be used for the same things as rune, solving problems, past life regression. regression. Um, they are also known for predicting the future in some way. Some way, I'm not really sure. There's also crystal ball, can't reading a candle flame. Um, a crystal ball is. Um, Basically, you look in the ball, and if you see anything in it that happens to strike you, you take note of that. Sometimes you can ask it a question, and if you concentrate really closely, you can see something in it. And it goes the same for candle flame divination, and uh, scrying. Scrying is when you take either a flat bowl of water, scrying mirror, or something of that sort, some reflective surface, and you stare into it, and ask it a question, and uh, the answer will come up. Um, another form is a pendulum. Uh, you don't need a professional pendulum. I actually just use my pentacle necklace for my pendulum. But a pendulum, you hold it, here, I'll show you. So. You can 
get it off. But you hold it like this. I can't, it won't work right now because the wind is blowing. But you say, show me yes, and it'll move one direction, like either this way or this way. Or rotate in a certain direction, like this. Or, and you can say, show me no, and it'll do any of those things. And you ask it yes or no questions. So, like, let's say this is yes. And this is no. You would ask it. Um, I don't know. Will there be a thin veil tonight between the spirit worlds? And it'll either do this or this. So that's basically how you work a pendulum. Uh, you can also use a pendulum to find things. If you draw a map of your house, uh, whatever floor it's on. Say like, show me where my wallet is. You would hold it over, and whichever way you feel it leaning to, it'll go towards the room where it's in on the map. And usually it's there, but um, oh, another form is Ouija boards. I don't recommend Ouija boards safest because you can't control who you contact, but, um, you can use Ouija boards to contact the dead. They're not usually for predicting the future, but you can ask the spirit. Um, a seance is another thing where you contact the spirit world and they communicate through a certain person that you have connecting to the spirit world. Um, is that it? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all the different types of divination I can think of. So, thank you for watching, and let it be.